Back to review another Steven Seagal VHS. <laughs> okay, I was right. You know, I looked up did some, uh, the movies above the law, but I first want to say this. I did a little research, and I said, you know, he sucked. Basically, I put it into Google. What Steven Seagal sucks. <laughs> now, I just wanted to get a good laugh out of it because I thought, um, you know, what are other people saying out there? And they're not going to take my video down if they're going to allow all these other people. They didn't say anything nasty or anything, or, or you know, threatening. I never do either. Uh, I just wanted to see what they would say. And they were right. They were disappointed. So there are a lot of stories about the... Someone said he was a rapist. I, I don't know if that's true. It's really no joke to laugh about that. But I'm just saying, I don't know if that's true. Uh, but I do know it seems like this guy's a real asshole from what I read. And a lot of people said they used to work with him. How can they confirm that? I can't confirm that story. That's one that's way off base. Anyone can go on there and leave a comment that said they worked with him at one time on set. Anybody can say that. So we can't confirm that at all. But I can say is, is that a lot of stories that weren't too good. And none of them were impressed with any of his movies. Someone said Under Siege 2 was a good movie. It was okay, but it wasn't great. Um, people have to stop sticking up for these kind of actors that don't do anything and don't accomplish anything in their acting career. Look, one of my favorite um, actors is Michael J. Fox. I thought he was great as a comedian and his um, family ties. Um, I almost said Family Matters. That's Steve Urkel. And, um, what's his name? Jamal White, whatever his name is. It, that's completely different. But you don't see me bragging about Michael J. Fox. No, I don't do that. I'm, I'm not that kind of person. There are people that go out there to brag about certain actors, even though they've never really did anything in their career. And if you look at his career, I said 57 movie things, and they're all crap movies. Someone says the movies he's been doing lately, or recently, or most recently, they've been, um, he's not, he's been doing nothing. Basically, all the stunts are being done by someone else because he gained a lot of weight or something. Which, that's kind of funny. But, you know, that's what happens to some actors. They don't take care of their health correctly, which you think a guy like him would if he's been doing all this professional karate his whole life. Uh, uh, which, that's what it said in his a bio. Um, I guess not. You know, I don't know what kind of guy he is, but it doesn't sound good. And I think uh, people like me and everyone else should stay away from people like that. So if you ever meet someone in Hollywood, you got to hope you meet the right person. Oh, there was a supermarket incident, too. Some guy said they got excited to see him. They, he kind of called someone pathetic, in a sense, when they were in the supermarket. And then they he was laughing at him. And then he tried to walk out of the supermarket with a bunch of candy bars, but they caught him. They made him go to the front and pay for it. You know, I believe that a lot of people with money or think they're above other people think they can walk into places and not pay for anything, which is a real shitty thing. This isn't the first time some, some kind of celebrity or someone in the movie industries tried to cheap out. I hope he didn't try, really try to do that. Mostly everything I said is all circumstantial. I can't confirm a thing. But I tend to believe what I hear when it comes to this because it makes all too much sense. If he was any good of an actor and he really um, he had his, had his act together, he would have scored some pretty big movies and he didn't. All right. That's it. And just the fact that you had really bad ratings on nearly every movie you made, that tells it all. All right. Bye-bye.